Well, you can see little Zoe is now on the grooming table getting ready for her big brush down here. And welcome back to Pause a Bit in Merrickville. And I'm joined once again by the owner of this fabulous shop, Ashley Chivers. Now, Ashley, Zoe gets a lot of matte. So what do you recommend for someone whose the hair tends to matte? Well, it's because she's a Maltese mix, Maltese hair does tend to be very fine and mattes very, very easily. So what I would recommend for this type of fur, and pretty much any of the curly coated fur, mm -hmm. um, what I would use is a slicker brush first. Okay. So this kind of goes through the whole body and just kind of gets out the little knots that are on the top and kind of straightens the hair out a little more to okay. make it a little easier to comb through. So once you've gone through the whole body with the slicker brush, which will get out a lot of the, the top major yeah. knots and mats and stuff, then you can take your, your comb, and this one actually has two different sizes, so it's got the wider spread teeth, okay. and you can go through it with that first, just to get through. And this is the part the she normally does not like at home. <laughs> <laughs> and do you recommend for people who are doing it at home, where do you recommend them to put their dog? Because obviously um, not everybody has a setup. Not everybody has a grooming table that you can put them on, but you can definitely, if you can set them up on something higher that they kind of can't get off of, that's, I find, the easiest way to do it, because then they're not trying to run away from you. Um, but you also want to make it a really positive experience for them. <laughs> right. So you want to you make it lots everything as, as calm as possible, lots of treats, lots of love, lots of, oh my gosh, you're such a good little puppy. Yeah, she is a good little girl. Um, also, another way that you can uh, brush them is if you can have them on your lap and do it while you're watching TV, while you're super relaxed, you know, just before you go to bed. Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of a calming, bonding experience for you okay. and the dog. And then it becomes, it becomes a ritual and it becomes something they look forward to. Okay. And for someone like Zoe, now, her I don't like her face clip too short. Do you guys do trims as well as opposed to just doing the full cut? We do do trims. Yeah, we try and do it uh, to the owner's specification. So whatever you think looks cute on your dog, that's how right. we'll try and give your dog their haircut. Um, we, unless, of course, if they do have major mats. If they right. have too many, like some dogs come in very, very matted and the owners want to leave the coat long. Unfortunately, to be able to brush through all those mats would take a long time, first of all, and second of all, not be very comfortable for the dog. That's like brushing through your hair when it's really right. knotted, and if you have, if your whole body was covered in hair, you can imagine how long that would take and, and how uncomfortable that mm -hmm. would be. So if the hair is too matted, we do re recommend just shaving it off and, and starting fresh. Okay. And we'll, we'll do lots of consult with the owner on how to brush and so that you don't run into that issue again. Perfect. And what are some other types of brushes you have for other types of dogs who maybe don't have curly fur like Zoe? <laughs> <laughs> so for a lot of like this straighter hair, dogs will just use the, just the comb. Okay. Works fine. Um, we also have... Uh, this is kind of the, the rake that takes off all the oh. undercoat. So this is really good for the short haired dog. Short -haired so dog. when you you can just go over their whole coat like that and it'll take off a lot of the, the little hard undercoat. Okay. Now Zoe doesn't have that, so going over this with her is not gonna is not gonna And the one thing I really like what you were telling me about is about the tears. So you're suggesting not to use tap water. Yes, actually the tap water mm -hmm. um, contains lots of minerals and iron and stuff, and that's actually what causes the, the coloring here. Mm -hmm. So you can see that she's got a bit of staining going on. So if you switch her to like a Brita water or distilled water, um, bottled water of some sort, it should help reduce that coloring okay. and, re and, and not necessarily reduce the amount of tearing that she does, Just but it'll definitely reduce the amount of staining that it leaves. Wow, fantastic. All right. Well, you guys also have a spa here. So coming up next, we're going to put the little Zoe in the bath and give her a little massage. Stay with us lots more to come here from Pots a Bit in Merrickville.